heartbreaking. She survived Clinton attack. She's on a warpath right now and it's tearing up Twitter and social media outlets as we speak. This day is all about the survivor and the attacker and a day in remembrance of what happened in the 90s. It's being considered as a terrible attack that happened in the White House that left a young woman's reputation damaged and a president impeached. This is the story of Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky and she's celebrating her 20th year of that horrible time in American politics. The White House was disgraced. A woman's dress defaced. And everyone in the world had their eyes on the White House as an impeachment process added to the fledgling reputation of former President Bill Clinton. Monica Lewinsky claims she is a survivor after what happened with her sexual encounter with Bill Clinton. Some call it an attack. Some call it mutual. Everyone calls it repulsive because Bill Clinton was caught in a raunchy expose with an intern while he was married to Hillary Clinton. But Hillary didn't leave his side. She stayed on the path of politics, not caring much about what her husband was into, or putting into and she used Bill's name and reputation to push her career forward while he took a back seat after his romp with Lewinsky. Bill Clinton was probed 20 years ago and the memory and backlash of the sexual encounter have always left a stain on the reputation of Lewinsky. That didn't stop her from being successful in her ventures after the impeachment of Bill Clinton. She refused to allow the incident with the former President of the United States to stop her in on the path to success. She pushed forward, full steam ahead, and she brandished herself a survivor. She wasn't physically attacked with punches, kicks, or weapons, but her character was nearly assassinated. She went from being an intern to a name everyone knows. People know her, her dress, and something about cigars that we won't get into. And now, still, Lewinsky pushes on as she claims herself a survivor from what was possibly her most tumultuous year. Gateway Pundit reports. Twenty years ago today special counsel Kenneth Starr contacted Attorney General Janet Trino to get permission to expand his probe of Bill Clinton. Janet Trino agreed and submitted the request to a panel of three federal judges. The judges agreed to allow Starr to formally investigate the possibility of subornation of perjury and obstruction of justice in the Jones case. Tripp and Lewinsky meet again at the Ritz-Carlton. FBI agents and U.S. attorneys intercede and take Lewinsky to a hotel room, where they question her and offer her immunity. Lewinsky contacts her mother, Marcia Lewis, who travels down from New York City by train. Lewis contacts her ex-husband, who calls attorney William Ginsburg, a family friend. Ginsburg advises her not to accept the immunity deal until he learns more. Three days later, on January 19, 1998, Mad Drudge at the Drudge Report broke the story first on the Monica Lewinsky scandal. And that led to the impeachment vote of President Bill Clinton. Is the combination of Mad Drudge and Monica Lewinsky the reason for Bill Clinton's impeachment? Perhaps as a secondary reason. The true reason for Bill Clinton's impeachment is Bill Clinton himself. His inability to remain distant from Monica Lewinsky regardless of who approached who is the sole reason an impeachment was ever more than an idea. If he allowed himself to be in close quarters and inadvertently in a sexual encounter with an intern, then the full blame must be placed on him. Citizens have extremely high standards for the President of the United States of America and sexual encounters with an intern are not on the unwritten list of approved behaviors. Monica Lewinsky shared her 20-year anniversary tweet and it began a chain of survivor tweets. It's a great story to see her posting positive messages to the public. However, we must remember that it takes two to tango. Since she was an intern, then it must have been the world's biggest accomplishment to hook up with the president. But for Bill Clinton, he let down his wife, his country, and his intern when he allegedly engaged in sexual activity. Bill Clinton should have said no so that Monica Lewinsky didn't have to say hash me too. But let's not forget, the encounter with Bill Clinton was only the beginning. Don't forget what Hillary did to try and ruin her life. Hillary may not have slept with Monica Lewinsky, but Mrs. Clinton is very capable of doing a lot of other things. Monica has gotten off easy. Enjoy her tweets. Hers is somewhat whiny. But there are some true survivors in the pack and may God be with them all. Warner Todd Houston laid her out. No, 
she absolutely should not run for any sort of office. Don't get yourself in over your head. This is the best tweet on Monica Lewinsky's chain of survivors. survivors.